Laying your hands on one of the best OLED TVs in the market in one issue and knowing how to get the best picture quality out of it is a different story on its own. Lucky for you, we are here to assist you. Let's talk about the Sony A95K OLED TV setting. How to get the best picture quality. Standard dynamic range contents. Before we start with the settings, note that according to digital trends, the Sony A95K is one of the best OLED TVs. The A95K is, in my opinion, the finest TV Sony has ever made. And it's easily in contention to take the crown as the best TV in 2022. In fact, if it weren't for the strong competition out there, the A95K super premium price tag, and the fact that this TV is only available in 55 and 65 inch sizes, then this would be the most slam dunkiest win for Sony like ever. Aside from the quality image that it offers, it also takes your gaming to the next level with input lag as low as 8.5 milliseconds and Bravia XR exclusive features for the PlayStation 5. The Sony A95K gaming feel is one of the best you can ever experience. However, you can only enjoy the best of this TV if you get your settings to spot on. Different contents such as SDR, HDR, Dolby Vision, and gaming require different content settings to get the best out of your OLED TV. Luckily, the Sony A95K OLED TV offers a number of picture mode options for your best viewing experience, such as the vivid picture mode, the cinematic picture mode, the custom picture mode, standard picture mode, etc. Choose the custom price mode for SDR content to get the best images, because it offers more room for personal customization. Next is to select the brightness level of your TV. You can set your brightness level to range between 35 and max. Note that this factor depends on how bright or dim your room is. So based on your viewing conditions, you can choose the brightness level that best suits you. You also need to set up the contrast level. This is where to adjust the brightness level between the brightest and the darkest areas. Set your contrast to 90. For an optimized view, you should set the gamma and black levels to 0 and 50, respectively. You can disable the black adjust and set the advanced contrast enhancer and peak luminance to medium. In terms of clarity, we suggest you make no changes to the sharpness level, but you can set the reality creation, random noise reduction, digital noise reduction, and smooth gradation to auto as best fit both lower and higher resolution contents. Next, set up the color to 50 and hue to 0. Choose Expert 1 for color temperature but you can also opt for either cold or warm. Lastly, the motion settings. Set the motion flow to custom, smoothness to minimum, clearness to minimum, and the sign motion to high. Generally speaking, the Sony A95K OLED has impressive settings for all your SDR contents. You don't have to worry if you're an HDR fan. You can also have the best picture qualities. Stay with us. We will discuss the best picture settings for HDR content. You care about the Sony A95K OLED TV, and so do we. Please subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about our Sony A95K review and all other Sony products. You can rely on us. Dolby Vision Contents Our first impression of the Sony A95K on Dolby Vision content is worth commending. You can choose between Dolby Vision Bright, Dolby Vision Dark, or Vivid for your best picture mode for your Dolby Vision content. However, we advise you to opt for Dolby Vision Dark. Again, you should adjust the brightness level to fit the lighting of your room, but we suggest you set it to max, the contrast also to max, black level to 50, gamma to zero, peak luminance to high, and then turn off the HDR tone mapping, black adjust, and advanced contrast enhancer options. You should also turn off the Ambient Optimization Pro. The color settings are almost the same as the SDR contents, except for color temperature, which should be changed to Expert 2. Aside from that, you should keep the color and hue to 50 and 0, respectively. Switch off the motion flow, set the smoothness to min, clearness to low, and cinema motion to high. Lastly, you should repeat the SDR clarity settings for your Dolby Vision contents and set the HDMI video range and color range to auto. Just like Dolby Vision content, game lovers are included. Keep watching if you want the best gaming experience with your Sony A95K OLED TV. High Dynamic Resolution Contents Note that some settings for SDR content will carry over to HDR content where you switch to HDR. But we need to make a couple of changes here. For example, you need to change the advanced contrast enhancer from medium to off, peak luminance from medium to low, and live color from low to off as well. You can either keep or change the rest of the SDR settings depending on which image quality best suits you. If you want the Sony A95K to automatically switch from SDR to HDR, head to the Video Signal tab and set the HDR mode to Auto. 
we suggest you use the cinema picture mode for HDR content for the best picture quality. What is your experience with the Sony A95K OLED so far? We want to know your thoughts on the various picture modes. Please share them with us in the comment section. Gaming The Sony A95K doesn't only take your gaming experience to another level. It is also easier to set it up. You can maintain the same settings for SDR or HDR content. You just need to be sure the picture mode is switched to game whenever you start playing a game on your Sony A95K TV. This is to ensure that you experience the lowest input lag. Constantly changing the picture mode can sometimes be tiring. That is why you should enable Auto Picture Mode, so your Sony A95K automatically makes the changes to Game Picture Mode whenever you start playing your favorite game from your Xbox Series X. If you're playing from a PC, you just need to change the picture mode to either Game or Graphics Picture Mode and set HDMI Enhanced Format to Enhanced Format, and you'll be good to enjoy your game, as easy as that. The Sony A95K can elevate your viewing experience to the next level if your settings are correct. But if you are still trying to decide if you should settle with an OLED TV or a QD OLED TV, then you should watch our video on the Sony A95K versus Sony A80K. Buy QD OLED TV or OLED TV. You'll know what to settle on by the end of the video. See you next time. Bye.